Hi guys, welcome back to another interesting tutorial. This is Ajulam here. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that I get to know anytime I post new videos. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much. So in today's video, I'm going to recreate this Christmas dress from AliExpress to a flower girl dress for a wedding party. So if you're interested, let's get started. Here I have all the things I'll be using for this project. This is my satin and I have one yard here and I have my nets. I am working with eight yards and my lining as well. And I'll also add a little hard net to this. So I'm going to keep this aside so we can drop the basic bodies. Remember from my last video, I promised I'll be showing you guys how to draft a basic bodies. That is the updated version and that is what I'm going to show you now. Okay, so here I have I have 14 inches here. So all you need to do is to check the biggest measurement that you're working with. So for me, I am working with 23 inches, which is the chest measurement. So all you need to do is to divide that by 2. If I do, I'm going to have 11 and a half. And then you can just add 2 and a half or 3 inches to that just for your side um, and zipper sewing allowance so this is what i have so i'm going to divide what i have here now into two and this other way this is the body's length it is nine inches plus one inch for my sewing allowance making it ten this is going to be for a three-year-old baby girl so i'm going to divide this into two i have 14 inches here so i'll just mark out a straight line So this is the center line one is going to be for the front and the other one for the back okay so this is going to be for the front and this is going to be the back pattern now the first thing to do now is to mark out the shoulder measurement now the shoulder measurement is nine inches half of that is all right like i was saying the half of the shoulder measurement is four and a half i'm going to repeat the same here this is four and a half and then for the neck width, you can just decide how small or wide you want the neck width to be. So I'll be making mine 2 inches. And neck depth, I'll use 2 inches as well. That is for the front. While the back, I'm going to use half an inch. That is for the back neck depth. So this is half an inch. I'll just connect now. Here for the neckline, you can give it any shape of your choice. So I'm going to connect. Okay, so after doing that, I'm going to mark out the armhole line or the chest line. Okay, so to do that, I'll be using four and a half okay but before that on this shoulder point here i'll just come down by 0 0.75 inches remember from my other video on how to draft the basic i use half an inch okay but this i'll be using 0 0.75 for that which is three quarter inch so i'll just connect to the neck with points and then for the back i'll use just half an inch which is here okay now you go you can see the alteration so i'll just connect as well to the chair, um, shoulder point okay so now from this point i'm going to be marking out the half of the armhole which is 4.5 and this is the point here so i'll just connect now to a straight line okay So after connecting now, I'll check what I have from this shoulder line to that point. You can see that it is 5 inches. So I'm going to mark that 5 inches all the way down. Okay, and then connect. This is now the chest line. So I'll just connect it straight and do the same on this front 
side as well okay so after connecting now we are going to be um, marking out the midpoint so I'm going to check what I have here which is four and half so half of that is two and quarter which is here that is for the uh, midpoint so there for the back I will go in by 0 0.75 that is because I will not be adding any sleeve to this dress but if you want to add a sleeve for the back just go in by quarter and inch okay so for the front I'm going to bring this down okay so this is 4.5 so I'll just bring it down then I'm going to repeat the same on this side as well so this is four and quarter half of that should be here okay and then I will go in by half an inch for the front okay so make sure to note this so I'll just go in by half an inch after that now I'm going to mark out the chest measurement now the chest measurement is 23 inches if you divide that by four I'm going to have five and three quarter which is here okay then i'm going to add my half inch for my sewing allowance this is what i have so i will now connect now you can see that it's very easy okay so i'll just connect it now to that point i can easily move this around this way So this is the front now repeat the same for the back okay I'm using five and three quarter for the chest and then half an inch for the sewing allowance and then we connect so this is what I have this is the this is the back and this is the front now you can see that it matches nicely on this armhole uh, point okay so now the next thing to do is to mark out the waist measurement which is 22 and if you divide that by um, four it's going to give me five and half plus half an inch for my side sewing allowance making it six so i'll just mark that out and then connect so this is a new way of going about drafting a basic bodies for kids and if you follow this method it's going to come out very nice and on the shoulder point is going to sit perfectly so for this back i'll just mark out half an inch okay and then connect it back to this point so it's as easy and simple as that so i'm going to cut this out and then show you how i'm going to alter this front part so we can cut it out on the fabric and step and then start sewing all right before cutting this out i am going to attach my half an inch for the zipper allowance on this side make sure not to forget that okay so just mark out half an inch if you like you can also use um, 0 0.75 or one inch you're still is still okay so i'll just mark out all the way down half an inch and then i'll connect okay so this is the zipper allowance all right now to this front side i'm going to alter it at once before cutting it out now from this I'm whole line I'm going to mark out one and half inch which is here okay and then I'll just connect so I'll just connect it easily back to this um whole line okay so this is how I did that and then I'll mark out again like I said I'm going to alter this to my own the way I want mine to be so I'll just mark out two inches again okay I'll connect it um, straight before okay so this is it and then from that line again I'm going to come down by half an inch sorry one and a half inch here 
I'm just repeating what I did on this one. I'll also connect. Okay, on this part, I'll be adding ruffles to this part. So by the time we start sewing, you're going to understand this part very well. So this is all I have. I'll go ahead now and cut it out. So I will now place on my fabric and cut so we can start sewing. So after cutting it all out this is what i have okay so this is this now remember that before cutting on your fabric make sure that your fabric is on fold okay so that is what i did here and i also added my sewing allowance okay so this is it i just folded my fabric into two and i also added my sewing allowance but for this one i did not add any sewing allowance on the waist because i've already included that in the pattern the shoulder allowance and the waistline allowance was already added to the pattern okay so all you need to do before slashing this open just take your pattern after drafting it out cut out your lining because you don't for your lining you don't need to slash it open this way just take the pattern cut it out the way it is on your lining before slashing this part open so all i'm going to do now is to use my hair stay and secure all this nicely Okay, so let me just keep this aside. So here I have my net. Like I said earlier, I'm working with eight yards and I've um, divided that into two, though not equally. This one here is three yards and this is five yards, okay? So for this one that is three yards, I'm going to be using this for um, to sew layers on my satin. If you're a returning subscriber, you should know how to go about this by now. So I'll be using this to sew on the satin just to make it, you know, to be more fluffy. And for this one that is five yards, I'll be cutting out the one that will sit exactly on the waist and all the ruffles I'll be adding to this dress. I'm going to use this five yards to do that. So I'm going to arrange my net for easy cutting so we can start cutting out the lower part. Okay, before cutting out the net, I'm going to cut out the satin. Okay, like I said, this is, I have two yards here, although I'll be using these two yards for two dresses. Okay, so let me just say, um, for this one, I'm using one yard for it. So I just folded it, as you can see, in a triangle way. This is the same way you fold when you want to make a half circle dress. So I'm going to use the waist measurement now to determine the radius. So the waist uh, measurement is 22 inches plus one inch for my zipper allowance making it 23 so i'm going to divide that by 3.14 and it's going to give me 7.32 okay so i'll just mark out seven inches okay for me i don't normally mark exactly what i have because if you do that sometime you are going to have it excess on the waist so i'll just mark out seven inches as you can see i'll just take it all the way down to this other end and I'll use my chalk to connect nicely and check if what I have there is going to give me the exact waist measurement that I am working with, okay? So this is very simple. So after connecting, just place your tape that way to check. All right, so what I have here is enough. Okay, so I'm going to cut that off and then the, waist, uh, the lower parts measurement is going to be it's going to be 17 inches okay so all i'm going to do now is to mark out the 17 inches on my satin by the time we fold on this lower side and on the waist area is going to reduce to 15 and half okay which is very okay but our net is going to be exactly 17 inches so i'll just mark that out all the way down to the other end 
and then I'm going to cut it out and mark out the layers that I'll be sewing in those th uh, the three yards that I showed you earlier. That is the three yards of my net. I'll be sewing it on this satin. So I'll just cut this off and then mark out the layers that I'll be using to sew in the net. Okay, so it's as easy as that. I'll just open it up. Okay and then decide how many layers I want to use the three yards. So for here now, I'm going to start by say seven inches, okay? Seven inches is okay. So I'll just mark out seven inches all the way around and make sure that when you're cutting on your net, you're going to cut exactly seven inches because you're going to be sewing in that on this satin. But remember to add your half inch or quarter inch sewing allowance, okay? so. All I'm going to be cutting out for the first layer is going to be seven and half. Okay, so now this is the one for the first layer. The second layer, I'm going to be making it 12 inches. Okay, plus half inch sewing allowance, making it 12 and half. Okay, so I think I'll go with just these two. Okay, and then I'm going to double the net so that all the three yards will fit in on these two lines. So I'll just connect this to the other end and this one as well before cutting as well my next now i'm going to cut out seven and a half and then twelve and a half that is for the three yeah so let me just fold that three yards for easy cutting and then cut them all out Right here i have everything cut out this is what the eight yards gave me remember i said this is 17 and a half the one that is going to sit exactly on the waist and this is the ruffles that i'll be using on the hem area of this net so my eight yards gave me this while my three yards gave me this okay now this is the ruffles that i'll be adding to the upper part this is two pieces of it and remember i said that the first layer that should be on the satin we used um, i think seven and a half and i have two pieces of this and this is the other one which is twelve and a half and i have three pieces of this so this is what my three yards gave me so i'm going to take all this to my sewing machine i use my gather stitch to run all this is where the main work is if you have um, a gathering foot it's going to make it easier for you so i'm going to gather all this so we can start sewing it on the satin right here i have the layers um, already on the satin this is the first one that we cut out this is the first two pieces of the seven and a half remember you just sew it on it following the line and this is the second one which was i think 12 and a half so if you have enough net you can just make it up to three four five layers depending on how fluffy you want the dress to be so now this is the one that is going to be that is going to be exactly on the waist. This is the one that we cut out um, two pieces of the 17 and a half. And I just joined the two together and use my um, gather stitch to run it all the way down. So before gathering this now, I am going to take the other pieces that I cut out. So I'll just open it up. I'll sew that in on this one, just on this one layer. These are the ones. Remember that I cut out four. Here I have four inches by eight yards, okay? And I have up to five pieces of each of these. Okay, so I'm going to gather this now. You can see that I sew the, um, the ruffles on the middle. So I'm going to gather it and then sew it on this hem. Okay, I'm trying to rush this part because I don't want this video to be that too long. So after gathering it, I'll just sew it on the hem like this until I finish up all these that I have here then after that i'm going to use something to close up this thread line because i don't want it to be visible so let me just quickly do all this so we can finish up the dress 
is what I have after sewing my ruffles on the lower part and as you can see I used my satin to close up my thread so that it will not be visible okay so now the next thing to do is for me to gather this waist and then join it together with this part that we've done already so I'm going to join it exactly on the waist line so after this now I am going to be joining the upper part as well here I have my ruffles which I told you I'll be using for this upper part so here I'm going to fix the first one here so I'm going to join it here and then take the second one to sew okay this side you're going to place and sew it all the way down and then after sewing you open it up again then join the next ruffles on this lower part that is the second one so I'm going to place on the lower the second one this way and then I'm going to take this last one and place it over again and then sew it all the way down so after all this I'm going to join the shoulders together sew the neckline and the ammo and then turn it inside out so we can join the lower part to this one all right this is what i have after joining it with the upper part and as you can see that the dress is already popping all i'm going to do now is to add my lining and then i'm going to add a little hardness to the lining to just make it a bit fluffier than this okay so after adding that i'll just close the back and then add my zipper okay and this is how my own recreation looks like and you can tell i believe mine is far better than the one you, you're seeing on the thumbnail okay so now for this part remember i used two and a half um inches by three yards remember that i cut out this part from the three yards while this from the five yards okay so this is how to go about making this beautiful dress so that is it for today please subscribe if you have not and i'll see you all soon